Pleasant good morning to all. I quote, our life is a story of transition. We are always leaving one chapter behind while moving on to the next. It's my privilege and pleasure to welcome our beloved principal, Dr. Anand Acharya, to the Student Induction Program 2020. I feel proud to welcome our Dean Academics, Dr. M. Vasanthi, to this program. I roll out the red carpet welcome to our respected chief guest, Dr. Hema Gopal, Vice President, PCA. I welcome all the heads of the department, faculty members, coordinators, and my dear students. Now I invite Mr. Azarudin, our placement officer, to introduce the chief guest. Please, sir. Thank you so much, Dan. So, you, very good morning to all. If a person is able to accelerate during the transition, then he or she will be able to achieve success easily. So here we have Dr. Hema Gopal, the Vice President of Tata Consultancy Services with us to enlighten us on transition. I deem it an honor and privilege to introduce Dr. Hema Gopal. She is currently the Vice President and Global Head, IBM Center of Excellence at Tata Consultancy Services. She completed her MS in Computer Science from Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. She holds a bachelor's degree in electronics engineering from Anna University and a bachelor's degree in mathematics from the Madras University. She had been a topper in her academics from school days and she was a state rank holder in SSLC. She studied pre-university BSc, BTech and MS in National Merit Scholarship given by the government of India. She is a well-known orator in Tamil as well. Dr. Hema has over 30 years of experience in winning, executing, and managing engagements in various areas of software engineering for customers across the world. She has widely traveled to many countries to meet customers across various industry verticals. She has executed state-of-the-art complex platform migration, application migration, and application convergence projects for customers across the globe. Many strategic customers, such as large manufacturing customers and large cards issuers have become TCS customers for more than three decades due to the exceptional quality of deliverables by her team. She had come across various roles in TCS and she had seen a lot of technological changes that have happened over the past 30 years. And hence her guidance and her experience will definitely help us in accelerating during this transition. Thank you so much. Now I request Dr. Hema Gopal to enlighten us on the transition. Thank you. Good morning, Dr. Asaruddin. Thank you so much for my uh, introduction. Uh, good morning, uh, Dr. Vasanti, the Dean, and uh, the heads of the departments, the various uh, uh, professors who are attending this program, and also my most beloved students, and also my esteemed and most respectful parents and all their well-wishers who are part of this program. I'm very happy to be here today, mainly because of the reason that I've been associated with the uh, Kamraj College of Engineering and Technology for the last uh, uh, 10 years or more. And uh, as of today, I'm in the capacity of uh, working with you in the Academic Council. And I'm very happy to be part of this enlightened team. My uh, sincere appreciation to the principal, Dr. Anantachari, and also to Dr. Vasanti, who have been uh, interacting with me constantly. And the last few days, I really had the glimpse of talking to uh, Mr. Asaruddin, the placement director, who holds an important role. He, in fact, he is the transition and the bridge between you and the corporates. So I'm very sure that we have got a lot of people who are going to be channelizing your future. And uh, I'm very happy to share my experiences. And then what I see as a transition before uh, we take over. I think with a short uh, cue, I would like to start my own speech with a Tamil poem.
பொங்கு பல சமயமெனும் நதிகளெல்லாம் புகுந்து கலன் திட நிறைவாய் பொங்கி ஓங்கும் கங்கு கரை காணாத கடலே எங்கும் கண்ணாக காண்கின்ற தருவே அன்பர் தங்க நிழல் பரப்பி மய கோடை எல்லாம் தணிக்கின்ற தருவே பூந்தடமே ஞான செங்குமுதம் மலரவருமதியே எல்லாம் செய்ய வல்ல கடவுளே தேவதேவே ஐ ஹோப் ஐ எம் ஆடிபிள் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ வித் திஸ் கடவுள் வாழ்த்து ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஸ்டார்ட் மை ப்ரோக்ராம் ஸோ யூ கே யூ ஆல் கேன் ரியலி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தட் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் அஸ் ஃபார் வாட் வி ஆர் டுடே இன் த இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் அரீனா வி ஆர் கம் வெரி ஹம்பிள் அண்ட் அ வெரி மாடஸ்ட் பேக்ரவுண்ட் ஆஃப் ஸ்டடிங் இன் தமிழ் மீடியம் டோட்டலி டில் மை எஸ்எஸ்எல்சி Uh, after that only i started learning english when i went into pre university then bsc mathematics then btech in electronics engineering from madras institute of technology and then i went on to do my masters by research from uh, from the prestigious indian institute of uh, technology madras so uh, sir i just want to check whether i uh, my presentation is uh, visible to all of you Yes, madam, it's visible. Eh? Madam, it's visible, madam. Madam, it is visible. Yeah. Okay. Ma'am, audio uh, is visible, madam. Yes. I'm very thankful to the students for attending here, uh, my program, and also the parents, who are actually the torch bearers for uh, making the students to learn what they, wa- what they have to do to achieve excellence in their own uh, curriculum. and to have a job in the corporate world or to further do their studies or pursue research or take up an entrepreneurship so whatever be the uh, end goal that you are all going to take i'm sure that the path that you have you are going to traverse in the next 4 uh, years is going to be an important uh, event in your entire life so when you look back after a few years you should have probably been with a satisfaction of having completed your uh, your studies with flying colors having done your uh, uh, you know uh, well in your uh, in your pro- project work and also in your final project assignments you should have been well equipped in terms of having taken part in all the other extra curricular and co curricular activities like uh, technical symposiums cultural events sports events and learning some new languages foreign languages and then being able to crack all the all the you know the aptitude tests of the corporates so that you become a full proof individual and at the same time you had lot of time to spend to for yourself pursuing your own hobby so that you are not really it is not all work and no play you are actually able to do everything on your own so with that you i just wanted to uh, say that the school to college transition is the most important i'm sure all of you were waiting for this right from march after you finished your plus 2 and i'm sure this last of this 5 months gap that has really gave you lot of strength in terms of overcoming what is the unknown factor which was there last year the same time that is the pandemic so iduvum kadandu pogum endra nambikiyode namba vaalvom பெற்றோர் பத்தி சொல்றச்சு பிகாஸ் வென்எவர் யூ ஆர் ஜாயினிங் எஸ்டீம் இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் யூ ரியலி ஹாவ் டு லுக் அட் த ஸ்டேக் ஹோல்டர்ஸ் பிகாஸ் யூ கேனாட் ரியலி கம் டு அ காலேஜ் வித்வுட் தி சப்போர்ட் ஆஃப் யுவர் பேரண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் யுவர் சிப்லிங்ஸ் அண்ட் யுவர் வெல் விஷஸ் அண்ட் இந்த செய்யுள் சொல்வாங்க கண்ணீர் சிறந்த உறுப்பில்லை கொண்டானின் துண்ணிய கேள்வி பிறவில்லை மக்களின் உண்மையவாய் சான்ற பொருள் இல்லை ஈன்றாளோடு எண்ண கடவுளும் இல் என்று சொல்லியிருக்காங்க அதனால நம்மளுடைய தாய் தந்தையர் மாதா பிதா குரு தெய்வம் ஸோ நம்மளுடைய தாய் தந்தையர் தான் நமக்கு முதற் கடவுள் அவர்களுடைய முழுமையான ஆசிர்வாதத்தோடும் அவர்களுடைய பிளஸ்ஸிங்ஸோட நம்ம வந்து இந்த புது வாழ்க்கையை நம்ம தொடங்கணும் அது நீங்கள் எல்லோரும் வந்து தொடங்குவது என்பது ஒரு ஒரு பயங்கரமான ஒரு சாதனை அண்ட் ஒரு சா ஒரு சவால் என்றே நான் சொல்லலாம் ஏன்னா இந்த இந்த விதத்தில் ஆன்லைன்லேயே ஃபுல்லாக படிக்கிறதுங்கிறது இட் இஸ் நாட் ரியலி ஈஸி அண்ட் யூ ஆல் ஆர் கோயிங் த்ரூ திஸ் டஃப் டைம் 
so why you are get going through uh, an iron is beaten hot when it is uh, you know uh, when it is getting molded and i think all of you are getting seasoned by all this kind of uh, uncertainties so that when you come out with flying colors the uh, entire world is going to be very rosy for you because the school to college transition is a very very important milestone and the kind of uh, way the education has been happening in the school it is going to be very different in the college so i'm sure each and every one of you who have gone through uh, the school successfully and being part of this esteemed institution with your own uh, capability to join and become future engineers i'm very sure that each and every one of you will do very well in your lives i really want to you know uh, give my best uh, wishes to all of you to really do very well and i'm going to be part of your journey so any time you want me to talk to you individually or talk to you collectively i'm more than happy to cover any of the technology topics because i've been seasoned uh, technological person in the last 35 years of uh, being with uh, tcs so uh, when you really want to uh, go uh, go to a place from madurai to say hyderabad or bombay you always want to wonder what will you do once you start your journey because you are not going to say that okay let me get into the train go to hyderabad then i figure out what i will do you will not do that because you will always have a plan to what you will do in hyderabad whether you will go through all the you know the sightseeing to whether you will go for shopping whether what you will do you will always decide suppose you go to you want to go and buy a bike for uh, for your own use you are not going to see that i will go to the shop then i will decide what i will do how i will use it because you will always talk to your parents saying that you want a bike because you want to go to a college you want to go to the library to study and you don't have to wait for the transportation so whenever we take a journey the end uh, uh, mile uh, milestone you will always decide what you will do before you take the journey before you embark on the journey like that when you are embarking on a journey of educational excellence being an engineer from start you will always know what you want to do because you would have always seen in the newspaper and in the media lot of news items about the uh, the role models of the world i'm sure that each and every one of you have a role model apart from having rohit sharma and virat kohli and ms dhoni as your role model for your own sports because the last two months have been totally engrossed in seeing the ipl who will win who will do the play off who will actually qualify for the final over who will get the purple cap all these things have been going through in our minds so i'm sure that uh, each and every one of you who go through the engineering journey along with your parents you would have decided what you will do so just like my journey of 35 years i joined tcs in 1985 as a trainee uh, through a placement just like uh, mr rasuruddin who is coming as your placement director we also had a placement officer mr ak patabraman from iit madras who actually channelized all the corporates to us so i also got through the campus recruitment and joined as a trainee after my ms and then i became an analyst programmer then i became a systems analyst then it was senior systems analyst assistant consultant consultant senior consultant principal consultant of program delivery vice president global delivery delivery head outsourcing head of bfsi delivery global head technology excellence global head alliance and technology excellence and advisor management consulting with kpmg now so the entire journey has been where i had gone through a very very successful career path so when i joined tcs we were less than about or just less than about 1500 people when i joined in bombay and came to chennai we were about 50 people in chennai and when i finished it was more than 4 lakh and 14000 people and uh, chennai has the largest uh, single branch of tcs was about 78 to 80000 people so you can really see a journey from 50 people to 80000 from 1500 to 4 lakh and the kind of overseas assignments that i have taken more than about 95 trips i have taken i have lived in every country you can think about more than about 30 plus countries i have visited 
uh, personally and lived in places like New Zealand, Australia, and UK and US for years together to be part of an uh, you no know, professional excellence career for TCS. So I'm just talking to you about my journey because when you embark on a engineering degree, you probably would have mapped about what you want to do at the end of your four years. Whether you are all from electronics and engineering, ECE students, you would like to do your core engineering work. Some of you may want to pursue your government uh, related uh, no degrees like you want to be IAS, IFS officer or IPS officer. Some of you would like to do your research directly. Some of you would like to do your master's in MBA management or in uh, MTech in uh, engineering. Or some of you might want to join a, uh, come a corporate. Some of you might want to become a researcher or you may want to become an entrepreneur or some of you might want to even uh, you know, uh, join your family business. And some of you as, as ladies may want to get settled so that we can support a great family or do some work internally or work from home. Because work from home has become the norm of today. So my journey has been very successful and it was challenging and uh, with uh, working with more of fortune 100 customers across the globe with uh, more than about 100 million dollar deals every time that you go and then deliver my journey has been a very very challenging one i have a lot i've learned and what i learned was the best teams working with you you can definitely deliver the best because it is a team which makes you successful so as students i really want all of you to think that you know, collaboration, good teamwork, and then um, uh, understanding the strengths and weaknesses of your friends or whoever, you really need to understand it very well for you to excel in your lives. And I'm giving you some projections so that uh, some of you who may be thinking that the pandemic has really made uh, you know, the jobs less lucrative for us, it is not uh, true. NASCOM is the National Association for Software uh, Companies. And uh, that has got a lot of projections in the future and uh, revenues in billions. And what is uh, going to be the kind of growth in IT services, business process management, engineering and research and development, software products, hardware and e-commerce. I'm sure that e-commerce is really going to catch up because most of us are going to be working on some digital transformation, whether we are in the core or non-core. Because all of us know that the cars are no more mechanical. They are all mechatronics. There is so much of electronics there. There is so much of uh, so much of IoT there. There is so much of electronics there that electric vehicles are going to be taken over. And then in every walk of life, the horizontal is becoming an IT and the vertical is becoming the core engineering work. So this is actually the projections from NASCOM uh, for the next uh, so many years. So there are going to be new jobs created. As of today, if you see also, there are companies like TCS, Wipro, and uh, Cognizant, and Accenture, the top four companies, and the Mindtree and other companies are all saying that they will satisfy the business plan of taking so many thousands of engineers, say 25,000 by TCS and 20,000 by Infosys and other companies. So which itself is a good uh, uh, you know, indication that the job market is going to be lucrative and I'm sure it is not going to be today or tomorrow for you. It's going to be at the end of four years. But you need to really prepare from day one to really meet the corporate challenges. And this is basically the breakup of IT roles, <coughs> engineering roles, and then non-technical roles. Non-technical roles are also going to be more useful. Gone are those days <coughs> when people thought that uh, you cannot... Uh, uh, you cannot uh, work from home on any IT related work. You need to be always in the office. I'm sure that uh, uh, pandemic has really made us be more strong and more capable to deliver the same kind of quality work from home also. So, uh, and uh, in terms of your learning and teaching and also understanding pedagogy, uh, traditionally we would have probably had 90% in the colleges as classroom. Online learning will be 10% where you will be given some uh, notes or some links where you need to study on your own and come back and present it in your college. And your expert talk where you get uh, uh, the faculty or uh, expert people from the industries to talk to you, either from IIT professors, 
or from overseas universities or from the corporate world you get people you get them only occasionally but how you were all you were all going to be evaluated is by quizzes assignments seminars where we want to really see how you are able to have your presentation skills your body language how you are able to connect with the audience through your eye contact how are you able to answer the questions because just like you can answer, ask questions with your teachers and there will be time where when you present a topic in a seminar you will also be asked a lot of questions where you need to answer so how you are going to handle the questions whether the questions are within your own domain or whether it is out of uh, syllabus or whether you are going to get something where there is going to be like a bouncer where you may not be able to answer but you cannot say that i do not know the answer but you can always say that i will find out and then let you know so the case studies where you will be able to prepare something as a group on your own and then present internal assessments and then final assessment so most of them will be paper based would have been paper based most of them will be a face to face but what is going to be the future for all of us till the pandemic is going to be lifted up where we are all going to come back to college but there is no feeling to replace the togetherness when you are sitting in the class next to your class uh, your uh, class friends seeing the teacher understanding and then asking but there are times where you need to really uh, take whatever is the best for you you cannot risk your life so you will be uh, uh, doing things maybe by online so when you cannot when your mother is not well and she cannot uh, cook you need to actually go and then get something from the uh, hotel not through a swiggy but uh, from the hotel and then have it or have something which is basically ready made but that is not going to be till the end of your life it is going to be very temporary so just like that i am actually hoping and also wishing that the classrooms will become more uh, you know the the happy occasion to come back uh, come and then uh, be there be with your friends have a good breakout here at lunch time go to the play field do some uh, games and then make yourself uh, you know fit physically fit and mentally fit listen to people look at the uh, way they speak they look at the way they actually deliver all these things you can definitely learn a lot since you have a four year journey none of you should be very uh, yeah apprehensive about what will happen to me i'm sure things will become better but online learning will be 30% i'm sure expert talk is 10%, 10%. so i think i will just flip it uh, saying that the classroom learning 60% will become more virtual now and you will always have the proctored platform by which online quizzes assignments seminars case studies internal assessment and final assessment might become online so till the time things are better it's all going to be online and what are you going to do suppose you want to uh, act like a, you know chatrapati shivaji or you want to act like a, act like a historic character what you do you put a makeup you put an apparel you actually deliver according to what they would have spoken like that in your home however big or small you need to create an environment an atmosphere so that you really look and feel that you are actually studying in a college you cannot say college na illiye namba late a vandupom kulikilena enna disciplined a illena enna nadula vandu video off pannittu we can take breakfast idu maariyana or indisciplined a irundinga ungalude biological system also gets affected and your concentration and the way you want to be a good student will also get diluted so it is my request to the parents and also the siblings and everybody who is attending this program to make sure that he he or she as a ward of the college actually comes to you know start the lessons by 9 o'clock if the class starts at 9 and then be there till the end taking the break whenever the college is giving taking every day's lesson very seriously i am very sure that online mode of listening is not going to be a thrill but at the same time that's a need of the hour so i am really requesting each and every one of you to create an atmosphere just like you will enact as uh, john sirani or chatrapati shivaji or any other character where you really live like a character 
you need to really create an atmosphere within your own home uh, where all of the all the people outside the uh, outside the you know the uh, at home should actually help you because they cannot be on a serial uh, in a tv with a loud volume when the child is studying i'm sure it is not going to be forever you can see all your serials tamil serial la nichayamaga paarkalam veetla irukravanga nichayamaga avargal vandu thannudaiya vandu virupathu ketra programs ella paarkalam ana ore oru problem enna na ore oru advantage enna na indha ella serialume oru varsham kaichu paatha kuda adhe actors adhe aluga adhe vasaramaga dhaan irukum adanal neenga vandu kavala pada vendam adhu ennudaiya சிறிய ஒரு விண்ணப்பம் ஏன்னா நம்ம நம்மளுடைய குழந்தைகள் வந்து கஷ்டப்பட்டு வீட்டுல இருந்து படிக்க படிக்கும் பொழுது நாம வந்து அவர்களுக்கு ஒரு துணையாக அவர்களுக்கு சப்போர்ட்டிவாக இருக்கணும் அவன் அதனால வீட்டுல வந்து நிறைய அமைதி நிலவருதே இந்த ஆன்லைன் எஜுகேஷனால தானே சொல்லுவேன் ஏன்னா இந்த பையன் வந்து ஆன்லைன்ல இது அது பேர் என்ன அந்த வால்யூம் வந்து பேசும் பொழுது தன்னுடைய டவுட்ஸ கிளியர் பண்ணும் பொழுது வீட்டுல இருக்கிறவங்க பேசாம இருந்தா அவர்களுக்கு அமைதி கிடைக்கும் அதனால இந்த இஃப் யூ ஆர் சோ யூஸ் டு ஹேவிங் லாட் ஆஃப் நாய்ஸ் திஸ் ஆன்லைன் எஜுகேஷன் இஸ் கோயிங் டு மேக் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஆஃப் யூ டு பி மோர் டொசாயில் அண்ட் தென் மோர் காம் ஐ எம் ஷுர் ஐ திங்க் இட்ஸ் கோயிங் டு ஹேப்பன் வி ஆர் நாட் கோயிங் டு லிசன் டு த வாய்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி வெண்டர்ஸ் அவுட் சைட் ஆர் தட் வி கேனாட் ஹெல்ப் கேனாட் பி uh you no know, used to the voices within the arguments within the house or you uh, know switching on the tv switching on the mixi and everything i'm sure each each and every student will tell their mother to also be uh, you know with a rapt attention because you are all studying and with that atmosphere you will do very well and uh, the the teaching and learning has gone through several incarnation adu nariya avadharangal vittirukku ena palangalathile ella remembering where uh the the guru was saying something and the, and the disciple was learning it so they just uh, memorized it by remembering it and then reproducing it then they started understanding they were explaining and then they were understanding now you are going to be applying whatever you have learnt and when you apply whatever you have learnt you will start analyzing why am i learning what is this going to be so your inquisitiveness your curiosity and the way you want to really apply the fundamental to a problem i think that is going to increase by applying your knowledge analyzing what you have learnt and then evaluating what are the various options that you will go through in order to understand things and then creating something new which is basically going to be more innovative so it is not so much that we have made this it is just that the learning teaching pedagogy is going to take different incarnations where you will learn or you will go from a lower order learning skills to higher order learning skills not that they are not required because remembering is important you have to memorize your tables 12 into 16 you have to rem- remember you cannot task i use a calculator you really need to reproduce all your tamil cheyul you will have to reproduce all your uh, statements or uh, theorems you know verbatim you cannot put your own words there there are certain things where you need to remember remembering gives you good skill and whatever tamil thai varthu i spoke from kadavul varthu that i learnt in 1974 in my sslc and i don't have the book i don't have access tamil when i'm meeting the cx warden and ceos of the worlds in the us or the uk or in san jose san juan puerto rico or i go to hong kong or the netherlands i don't carry any of my tamil books or anything but whatever i have learnt i have remembered is what i am reproducing now so remembering and retaining many of the things that you need to that you are learning should be there with you you cannot say na the 10th class la padichen marunditen 12th class la padichen marunditen but you don't have to remember all these things for a very long time maybe till you become 70 75 years you should be able to remember only till then i am requesting all of you another 40 50 years after that you can afford to uh, you know forget all the things that you learned so never say that i i don't remember you always say that i will remember i will reproduce because that is the best way of uh, internalizing the knowledge and the subject because you are all going to be evaluated for a problem solving capability and when you when you are going to do that 
you may be able to apply some of the fundamentals that you have learnt in your college or school. That time you cannot say that I don't remember. You need to remember, and that is how you will be measured. I think uh, if you are all on a chat box, uh, I really want to give you a small exercise after this. So it is our attitude. Attitude defines altitude. Is the old proverb. Gratitude defines altitude. Is my new proverb because if you are grateful to your parents, you are grateful to your college, which is creating lot of infrastructure, which is making the teachers. come for an online education making you learn making you understand the subjects very well creating a question bank and making you really be uh, knowledgeable by assessing you i'm sure all of us as students should remember that we enakku und exam test vina etikaya da irundhad ana adella edukku vekkranga ngra end result paarthona adu nammude knowledge test pandradhu i don't think they get a joy by assessing you and giving you marks a 2 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 i am sure they will be happy to give 10 out of 10 but they may, may not be happy to give 2 out of 10 for the simple reason that they want you to be knowledgeable that's why they are assessing you not because they feel any pleasure out of you no know, giving you lower marks it is only to make sure that whatever you learn you actually understand and then you can answer the question so they are also having lot of uh you know a mandate to prepare all the question bank questions the way they want to assess you so gratitude towards your college to create uh, to call one plumber or one painter it takes so much of time to create such a world class infrastructure the labs the the teaching rooms the smart classrooms the library and all the facilities the 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 playgrounds and also the cultural feet in the auditoriums and seminar halls and the uh, labs the the uh, you know computer labs and other labs i'm sure the teach and every one of you will understand what hardship the management would have gone through in, in it's not just the question of having the money it is getting the right equipment for you to get it the right support people to help you do your ex, you know your assignments and your lab uh, experiments so it is we have to really understand what trouble others go through so the gratitude towards first the parents who are actually sacrificing a lot to make you it is not just that they give you money in the first year and at the end of four years edo factory la rendu velila vara madri inga raw material kodutha fourth year la vandu you come with a degree and a good job for 40000 rupees kediyadu avargal undu neenga therumum neenga vandu kaiyathukku vandu padikkaradhukku avanga uruduniya irukanga ungalku edavadhu books vaangnona edavadhu accessories vaangnona they have to spend the money and uh, your mother has to get up so early in the morning to make sure that you sit in the bus at 8 o'clock to go to the college but you may get up at 7:45 but she has to get up early to pack your food so all the sacrifice that your parents do that your siblings do and everybody does i'm sure you have to realize it right away because you cannot do anything without their help so the gratitude defines your attitude the more grateful you are to your society your parents and to the college and also to the people who may who are responsible for what you are today i'm sure that you will come a very very long way and you can really look at the lives of uh, dr apj abdul kalam or anybody who has really risen through the ranks from a small background even dhirubhai ambani himself all of them have gone through uh, such a hardship and why they are successful because they were always grateful and uh, would everything to their parents for what they are today they never took any single credit credit i'm sure each and every one of us were a lot to them though they may not be as, as brilliant as we are they only have given us all those brilliance they may not have got a be degree doesn't matter but their wisdom their experience and their knowledge in the worldly things can never be replaced by a single two letter degree so this is what uh, you have to do because in the school you would have been uh, given all the notes you would have been taught you would have been given so many revisions and the teachers would have made sure that you revise everything by november itself they would have finished all the portions so from december onwards it will all be revision exams that you really uh, do the portion and then reproduce whatever you have learned but it is not going to be so in the college it is not that totally you are going to learn everything on your own not at undergraduate level 
so uh, there is a very famous uh, statement that when somebody had some half tea cup and the tea was poured well, after that uh, they they will be always questioning as to what happened to the uh, rest of the cup so unless you come with a total open mind you cannot learn whatever you are you know going to learn so it is better that all of us realize that you have to unlearn and relearn and so that is when you can uh, you know you can excel it is not that you unlearn the concepts or fundamentals you unlearn the methodology by which you have been so used to get doing things so you really unlearn only those portion and then relearn so that you succeed in your life so this is what he said he was pouring the tea and the visitors cup fell full and kept on pouring it was overflowing it is overfull no more will go in like the cup nan and said you are full of your own opinions and speculation so when you have go with a preconceived opinion you cannot excel so and uh, uh, life is also full of uncertainties and you can there is a usual cockroach story where you have to you cannot react to a situation somebody tells somebody irritates me i cannot react immediately though as young blood we would like to do it whether our parents say so or the teacher say so or our classmates say so we always feel that we want to react to show that we are superior to them i think responding will help you to do better so there is uh, something like the usual cockroach where reacting versus responding uh, will will help you so that when you respond you will be calm to analyze and understand and then react not when there is a fire that you need to really respond that time you have to react quickly but uh, respond properly to salvage the situation but not all the times uh, the responding will help and so you need to really make a judicial judgment as to when you will react and when you will respond i just wanted to take a pause to say that what are the best things because when you are changing from school to college there is a transition in terms of the long hours of you know the distance that you travel that uh, the way you sit in the class the way uh, things are actually you know um, taught to you the way you are actually all study various subjects where you are not even you know um, not even uh, you know used to doing things so you have to really understand how you will uh, what are the five successful questions Uh, highly successful people will ask this is something i should be doing don't ask this for uh, no studying it is not for that it is for coming up with something very uh, you know something innovative where things can be automated you don't have to do it things can be done on top of automation that is what we are asking you to do can someone help me to do that because i may not have the expertise for doing this piece of work when i do a project so i can ask some architect to do my architecture work or i can have a domain specialist to give me a specification because you don't have to reinvent the wheel is this my top priority yes you really have to prioritize your work every day you get up you have a diary to say what you have to study because they may have given you the calendar they might have given you the syllabus they might have given you the reference books and material and what lessons they will be covering and when is your uh, no assessment all these things they might have given but it is own your own calendar when you get up every day morning what do you want to do that day will help you to learn things do your priorities correctly so that you can do your assignments and then submit them on time i am sure that with online education there can be so much of you know exchange of things but plagiarism is something which is totally to be avoided because it is not it is for you you are learning it is for you you are giving out something but i don't think you probably can fool the system by saying that i will take it from somebody and then give it so that i get the high marks that's not going to help you in the long run because many times in the corporates you are going to be individually evaluated you may be delivering a project with a team but the individual contribution and capability is going to be assessed for many factors so you really need to be original can someone else do this is this healthy so whatever i am taking up is this healthy is what i will have to go through i think time for video uh, i just want to take a small uh, break 
um sir i just wanted to ask you uh, if the speed is okay and uh, if the students have got any questions they can put it in the chat box i will be more than happy to address them at the end okay so sir asaruddin sir hello am i audible now yeah yeah you are very much audible i am sure i use this space okay and uh, also i hope that the students have got some questions they can ask or i just want to take a small short break to find out if they would like me to cover something else or speak more in tamil i can do anything so i just want to ask you that question okay um okay ma'am but then the speed yes, is fine yeah, so give me answer in the name for the next two questions so, yeah first uh, i will probably show you a video uh, so no one question uh, okay i think i'll do the video first uh, so meanwhile you can okay, just ask them to give their uh, opinion whether i should uh, uh, you know give them more inputs in terms of tamil or english or is the space okay or any questions they have they can ask me sir okay students uh, you would have listened to ma'am now wait wait fine or do you so want to I... want her to slow down a little or if at all you have any doubts at this point maybe you can ask your doubts ma'am will be happy to answer you yeah so what we will do is sir, if it is a question and answer we will do it later but if they can okay, write okay. something in the chat box we can actually do it so i'll just play the video i'm sure you yes, know this yes. uh, famous personality uh, who is actually uh, probably who may be a role model for many of us so she is going to give the acceptance speech and uh, full screen
screen. So, I think all of us know that uh, she is none other than the CEO of Pepsi, uh, Ms. Indra Noi, who has really achieved uh, a lot in her life. So, I hope all of you uh, got the message. The first thing that she says is that we have to be a lifelong learner. We cannot say that we I started in plus two, I got so many marks. And then in engineering, I've got a 9.5 G with CGPA. So I'm going to stop learning. Or I've got my MTech and I've got about uh, four out of five as CGPA. So I'm going to stop learning. I've been in the, in the organization for five years. So five years is too much of a time. So I'm going to stop uh, learning. So I think uh, learning should be continuous and it should be lifelong. That's the first message. The second is curiosity. I think we stop asking a lot of questions when we are getting older. I think that curiosity helps us to learn things much better in our lives. And the third is she always tells everyone that you pull up somebody at the even though you are in a position that you do not have to feel bad about your own uh, you know uh, job or your title. I think the best satisfaction comes from helping others to rise and that gives you a lot of room to take on another role and that is what i wanted to say so i think this is a question for all our students i'm sure all most of you are awake i'm not able to really see any of you but i just wanted to ask you when can you add two to eleven and get one as the correct answer i'll probably give you uh your one minute to answer so i think uh, uh, and I would like uh, Asuruddin sir to give me the answers uh, for, for a few of the students. So the time starts now. When can you add 2 to 11 and get 1 as the correct answer? So I'll give you a minute. I'll just uh, step out for a minute. Uh, sir, any answers? Any answers from the no, students, sir? Ma no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma uh, they have not given it. Should we give them little more time, or uh, they're all awake, right? And they're all there. When can yes, we have two yes, to eleven and get one as the correct answer, my dear students? It's a simple math. Can I ask uh, one more question? What's the time now? Uh, Ma'am, one student has uh, answered it. So it is in the clock, she says. When you add 2 yeah. to 11 o'clock, then you'll get 1 o'clock is what she is. Yeah. I think uh, we all deserve to give her a good round of applause. I do not know how to give it. I can give it from my side. You all can unmute and give it to her because one among so many, I'm sure... Uh, she has thought through it and I'm sure all of them thought through it that probably they thought that the question is not uh, so simple and uh, easy. Maybe that's the reason they have not been able to say it. So. so this is what the answer. So the next question for each and every one of you, I'm sure more people should answer now. Suggest a word that could correctly continue this sequence. First aid. There are five, uh, six words I've given. Eight, guess, degree, Yes, state, avenue, sense. So you can always uh, um, add, uh, prefix it by first aid, second guess, third degree, fourth estate, fifth avenue, sixth sense. So what will come as the sev seven? Can somebody write it down? I will give you two minutes time. First aid, second guess, like that seventh, what? 
after sense what should come so if you get some one or two answers you can read it out sir yes ma'am yes ma'am i'll wait till the first person gives me an answer okay ma'am okay. seven wonders is what a person has given oh i think uh, this person deserves a good round of applause any other thing on the seventh okay i myself have seventh day seventh heaven seventh wonder okay that's great so i think uh, and all of us as engineering students i just thought that uh, you should give a lot of thought to uh, programming not because uh, uh, it is not just applicable to uh, computer science or information technology alone i'm sure that each was many ec students triple e students e and i students and other uh, mechanical engineering students they all opt for uh, you know a kind of an it as a backbone even if you uh, design for an aircraft they may have to do learn embedded systems that is c and c++ or if the uh, uh, ee students wanted to uh, probably look at some uh, machine learning or um, uh, uh, or artificial intelligence i think all of them uh, ai or data science they have to really apply matrices and determinants and then come up with some r programming or any other programming that they need to learn to uh, excel i'm sure each and every one of you also have a curriculum where some of you might have learned to python or some of you might have learned c c++ some of you might have learned r programming or golang is a programming for by built in by google so r programming is the most recent for data analytics i think there are number of programming languages in my life i have gone through uh, lots and lots of pro programming languages so it is not so much that i learned all languages when i entered i learned the analysis the syntax and semantics of few languages and i was able to apply my logic and analytical ability to learn another programming language i probably would have learned uh, fortran and pl1 and then cobol algol pascal and then uh, pms and then uh, and then i would have learned uh, uh, you know um, many other language idms um, at so so many things i would have learned in my life and including java and uh, javascript uh, and of course uh, c and c++ i might have learned lot of languages more than 12 14 languages in my life but i think i became proficient not because i learned all of them in the first place because i learned one language i was able to really appreciate the syntax and semantics and the nuances of the language so uh, language learning is like a vehicle it's a vehicle to take you to the destination it's a translation between the compiler and the uh, final uh, you know end deliverable so what you need to do is to learn the gimmicks and also the Uh, techniques of uh, using the language and whether it is an object oriented language or you are going to apply it in sub, uh, structured uh, software analysis and design or you are going to do it in agile methodology or you are going to do frugal engineering i think it doesn't matter you are all going to learn the language because it is just like you can take a train or a, a aeroplane or take a bus or a car to reach from uh, from madurai to salem madurai to trichy Uh, language uh, is also like that so you can take any mode but it is a final destination is the translation of the logic into your into a compilable or an executable code so i i am really urging each of you even if you have to learn data science artificial intelligence blockchain 3d printing uh, augmented reality virtual reality or any other disruptive technology iot machine learning any of those uh, very fashionable disruptive technology uh, technology items i think each of you should be proficient in one or two languages while you are actually in the college and you also get to learn the databases like some of you might have uh, oracle and things like that i'm sure our ms uh, 
um, MS Access or SQL Server. I think anything that is there established in your college, you should be able to learn that uh, data uh, database. Swift is basically a, a messaging framework that is used to for uh, your uh, cards processing, ATM, everything. So I think it is basically uh, will help you to do it from an issuer to an acquirer when you are having a credit card or a debit card. Like uh, you have a, an account with the State Bank of India, but you have a uh, Visa card. It is basically from the network provider, from the acquirer to an issuer. And uh, this is basically a very important slide I want all of you to know. Uh, because uh, all of us uh, learn our subjects very well. At the end of third year or fourth year, your placement director will churn you through a lot of uh, modules from first year onwards or the second semester onwards for you to be uh, you know, corporate ready or industry ready. And uh, many a time when you, are, uh, you are, when you are a kid or when you are in the college, you would have probably seen a lot of your relatives or your uh, neighbors uh, becoming so and so in this field. But you will also want to emulate them. But what is more important is to understand what are the choices versus chances. If you are getting from day one some slot from some company and you qualify to attend it, I'm sure that you should not definitely say that I don't want to attend because I wait for something else. Maybe in that something else you may not get qualified. So choices versus chances are very, very important in choosing yourself. So you your skills, the way your skills are honed is very important. Your communication skills, problem solving, whether you can work well in a team or whether your computing skills or whether you are a well-disciplined person like you are a salesperson, marketing person. And what is your interest? Whether it is you want to contribute back to the society by becoming or creating an NGO, or you want to be a, a person who can probably be in the outdoor to give a sales and marketing pitch, or you also want a person who can get into uh, research and development. So I think you have to really evaluate. And what are your values and motivations? Whether you want to probably have more calm work-life balance, you want to be only in Madurai, you will only take up whatever you are getting there. You don't want to step into Chennai, Bombay, or Hyderabad, or Bangalore, or Calcutta. How do you want to do? Or whether you want to, you have money, you can invest and start your own company. What is your own value and motivation to be in the career? What is your personality? That's very, very important. Whether you are a determined personality, whether you are a go-getter, or you're a person when you are short of uh, no, 30, 38 runs, or uh, 30, uh, 32 runs in the last over that you can convert each ball into a sixer and then make six sixers like Ravi Shastri or someone else or Brian Lara that you can really hit those and then become a, an achiever. Or you are a very person who is very, very cautious because that's how you have been brought about that you don't want to take any risk, you are cautious. Or you are a person who is outgoing. Or you are a person who is more calm. Or you want to be a teacher because there is nothing wrong. Teaching is a very, very noble profession. You can do your master's, you enroll for your PhD, come back to your own college, and then become a teacher. And all of us will giggle at each other, ourselves, saying, I don't want to be a teacher because everybody else will be making fun of me. But that is not true. The real capable teachers are always respected. Even today, I'm in touch with my Tamil Asriyai and my Saritra Masriyai. Uh, it's all more than 45 years. But still, when they talk to them, I talk to them with the same politeness and modesty. Nothing of what I have achieved will come in the way because still she is my teacher and still I am her student. There is no, no reversal of things. Still your parents are parents. They may not earn 25,000 even now when you get a job. But it doesn't matter. But the fact that they are your parents, they are more superior to you. I think that kind of a conviction we all should have. Ambition versus reality, I think I talked about it, that when you are really making a transition from your school to college and wanting to do something, you have to be a hardworking person. We all have seen that uh, genius is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. There is nothing to replace a hard work, dedication and sincerity, and then always inquisitiveness to learn. So I think that is what we need to have. So. You, you have to really make sure that whether uh, your ambitions are real. 
whether I, I want to be the CEO of Google, can you do it in one year? No. You, how do you really do it so that you can achieve is what you need to think about. So there is something called reality and there is something called an ambition. You may probably become a vice president less than in less than 20 years because I have taken about 19 years to become a vice president because those are all the conventional way of people getting promoted. Is there a way I can become a vice president in 10 years or 12 years is what you can think and work towards it with your sheer hard work, your capability, you can prove to become one. But there is no shortcut for hard work. There is no substitute for hard work also. And uh, this is basically all of you must have used your computer in a life and uh, you want to shut down the computer, you probably press the button called Control Alt Delete, right? All of you, including all of us, myself and Nasruddin sir, Vasanthi madam and Kyle madam, all of us have been using all the computer to do a Control Alt Delete to come out of it. There is again another Control Alt Delete I want to tell you because uh, Control Alt Delete will help you. Good communication is very important. You cannot say, na Tamil media grammar English It doesn't matter. Let them laugh. But you need to come out of that shell, make mistakes and improve your communication. And how do you keep your body? And how do you keep your hands and body language, which is important? How do you really express? Do you really sweep through your audience? Do you have a high contact with them? That's very important. And then attitude. Your attitude to reach your goals should always be never compromising. You should always be positive and problem solving. You may have so many problems at home, financial crisis, some other crisis. But I think as a student, you should never be bogged down and you should never interfere in such things because your goal as a, as a horse, you need to really be on a forward looking path. You need to be always positive and problem solving unless something really hurts you in the long run and leadership qualities leaders are also i don't think leaders are born they are made the situation is making everybody a leader so leadership qualities are not that you can become a leader after 25 years of working you can be a leader even in your own college you don't have to be a leader for wrong purposes you need to be a leader for right purposes you can be a leader to do a uh, you know your convention you can be a leader to coordinate some activities for a cultural event or your techo fest or your college day or your sports day or for an international conference you can get speakers you can do Asian any one of them being a leader and that leadership quality will help you to work well with the team which is very much important in every corporate teamwork collaboration creativity these are all very important in fact I'm going to give you a small prescription as to how you will do uh, well in in your life by those uh, prescription. So the leadership is important. Enthusiasm, always willing to learn. You will not even believe that I had a meeting till 11.45 yesterday night. By the time I finished my work and went to sleep at 2 o'clock, I got up at 5.45 today. Till now I'm there. Afternoon I have a big uh, uh, you know, uh, team meeting where I like to speak for nearly three to four of us, your enthusiasm, your energy levels should never come down. And the next one is your decision-making capability, right? <laughs> and uh, you are, uh, and uh, no dilemma. You should never be oscillating. You should never be carried away by somebody else's influence for wrong things. You should always evaluate it and make a decision objectively. And then Teamwork is what I've told you. So this is the control alt delete I want all of you to think about. That uh, So communication, attitude, teamwork, and uh, leadership, and then decision-making capability. And uh, disruptive technologies we have already talked about, cloud computing, IoT, data science, cybersecurity. Most of them are like, you know, old things being here capsuled or encapsulated into a new offering. All of this, the fundamentals of all of this, you will anyway learn. I think I touched about it. You are all seeing the drones for uh, the pandemic, uh, um, uh, during the pandemic when the, uh, the patients are administered using drones or robots to give them the medicine or to check their you know, temperature and whatnot. You are also seeing robotics and doing a lot of surgeries 
you are also saying robotics in do in terms of mechanical engineering where they clean the car and they put the parts and assemble things so robotics are also going to be important and within them it is all embedded systems i'm sure that each and every one of you will seed something on your own so that when you create a, a project or when you conceive of a project you will definitely be able to excel and employment opportunities across industry sectors because we all know only uh, i'm reminded of uh, drama from sv shekhar where uh, 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 this character name is sigamani and her mother will say um, in the in the drama enada sigamani நீ வந்து ஒரு டாக்டர் ஆவோ இன்ஜினியர் ஆவோ வக்கீலாவோ ஆகணும் நான் கனவு கண்டேனேடா அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க அது எப்படிமா ஒரே ஆளே டாக்டர் இன்ஜினியர் வக்கீல் ஆகணும் ஸோ கம்மிங் பேக் டு த டேக்கிங் த சேம் கியூ எவ்ரிபடி திங்ஸ் அட் இட் இஸ் ஓன்லி த ஐடி ஜாப் விச் இஸ் மேக்கிங் யூ லுக்ரேட்டிவ் தெர் ஆர் லாட் ஆஃப் ஜாப்ஸ் வித் தி டிஃபென்ஸ் இன்ஃபேக்ட் ஒன் ஆஃப் மை ஜூனியர்ஸ் ரியர் அட்மரல் தாஸ் அண்ட் மை செல்ஃப் வி வேர் ஆன் ஆன் அ பேனல் டிஸ்கஷன் வித் அனதர் காலேஜ் அண்ட் அனதர் ஃபோரம் where there was a, a hr person from rolls royce and she was able to articulate a lot about how design thinking and design engineering is going to be helpful for the students to get employed you may not have a mass intake of people but you will definitely have good number of people who are taken there drd government jobs different sectors so much of uh, electronics is there we always think that when it is different sector we go in front of the war front and then fight uh no as a warrior it is not so there are so much of background electronics instrumentation and mechanical engineering all applied in the missiles and the uh, underwater you uh, know the, the the ships and everything so these are all some of the uh, industries where i feel that most of the uh, work can happen including the government sectors you can become an ias ips or you can do air management you can probably a uh, spin off to be a you know start a research park or be an uh, no startup company so many things are possible so you have to prepare to face the real world you cannot be a frog inside the wall you need to uh, face the real world where you need to interact with your own uh, uh, friends you know, for the right reasons you need to really collaborate with your teachers to ask right questions you can actually create communities of practice you can go through material from npetel coursera and so many things to add on to your knowledge fundamental knowledge is your syllabus that is your probably your uh, magna carta and on top of it you need to really expand so that you can re- face the real world and i'm sure each and every one of you will go through your fundamentals well study your subjects very well so that you are always knowledgeable from day one you don't leave everything learning and then go only for corporate you will be like a you will not be a, a successful person in the long run you need to prepare for corporates but at the same time you cannot compromise on your fundamental subjects and coming out of the comfort zone pay attention to details just like ms indra noi was talking about pay attention to details whatever is the little job that i have throw yourself into it and then give your best do not worry about the hours deal the challenges with an open mind to learn never hate anybody never fight with anybody because i think uh, of the, i've uh, learned a quote in readers digest those days we used to uh, read the readers digest there'll be five quotes every month so we used to collect a diary with all the quotes i'm really sure and i'm not sure whether any of you as students are doing this i used to collect from 10th 10th standard onwards because first thing is i was studying in a tamil medium so i was not very sure how my appetite will be to learn english when i deliver lectures because uh, when uh, you you need to communicate in very simple uh, terms you have to be very uh, you you don't have to use uh, great words i i heard from my father in law that when lord macaulay was saying othana vandu adichu keela vandu kupra potrudengirathukku he was uh, saying that when i was circumambulating and perambulating i converted the verticality into horizontality i don't think we need to speak in those words we need to speak so it is also true that uh, coming back to the queue of fighting of the many ways to fight the best is to flee so i think uh, the uh, you do you should not fight with anybody should not hate anybody should not create some you know groupism and doing things because you can create group for intellectual ability intellectual exchange of things 
read at least one technical article every week from the journals and internet many a time we go to colleges lots of uh, books and reference material will be there and how you need to use it you need to really book them out and then read through and then uh, use them and that is the real impact of having such a huge investment in the libraries document express your thoughts in paper or blogs seek job satisfaction every time it is not the working in a company it is job satisfaction is whatever you do whether you have been able to achieve excellence whether the teacher is going to say yes uh, ramesh you have done so well you have delivered very well and uh, these are things which i want every one of you to take on so don't uh, look at ramesh as a, an enemy but uh, take ramesh's good points and then start becoming better than ramesh that is what we all have to learn just because a teacher has praised ramesh or uh, raman we should not think that they are rivals but we should think that they are able to do things better so i'll do better than him in my next seminar that's uh, that's how you should have uh, you know your goal to achieve excellence continuously desire to excel whatever you do do with sincerity sincerity is very important i think that this is true for a networked teacher because in this online world in this world where everything is in social media everything is in some virtual reality the only thing that i want to tell all of you is google cannot replace gurus if you think that you can read everything from google to pass through your exams it is not true that gurus have got experience they can speak with experiential learning and sharing including telling you how to handle your questions and answers to the keys that you need to do in sslc or plus 2 you had the answer key you know only when you do that they will give you the marks like that the gurus will carry in their own day in their own day and day the knowledge about the subjects and all the keys that you need to learn they will unlock each and every one of them only when you are receptive okay it is their job to teach but it is also your job to listen and internalize and then excel so these are all the ways by which a uh, networked student and teacher can do and i also told you that uh, uh google cannot replace gurus and there is one thing that i want all of you to have the focus the rigor the passion and the mindset and the last one i want to tell you is the is a prescription i want all of you you if you can have a paper pen and paper you can write down 3 c's 4 d's and 5 e's every day you can take these tablets every day so that you can get 10 on 10 cgpa in all your all your courses the three c's are create communicate and collaborate you create something new you communicate with your own uh, uh, to, uh, your friends and the teachers and then you um, collaborate so that uh, create communicate and collaborate so that when you collaborate well you can deliver something better four d's are decide deliver develop decide develop deliver and deploy you decide to do something very well you develop it in such a way that it uh, it goes through the right path and then you deliver it uh, to the end customer or the end stakeholder and then you deploy it across multiple people so that everybody will get the benefit of your decision or your making five e sir whatever you learn whether you learn a pro programming language or uh, probability and statistics or mathematical equations or uh, uh, um, fluid dynamics or you are learning any subject in electronics and instrumentation or astronomy or you are going to learn anything measurements or you are going to learn uh, programming languages you need to have the proper exposure expertise exp uh, ex exposure experience expertise excellence and then you become exceptional so you go through this five e's three c's and four d's every day in everything that you do even if your mother gives you some work don't do a, a wishy washy job you do it very well so that your mother appreciates it. because when you live abroad i don't think there'll be anybody any mother to come and help you uh, you know cooking or doing anything for you you have to be a lord and master of everything you have to be jack of all trades so when you have to uh, when uh, we were living in new zealand for the first time we went in 1986 number 21 we had to uh, get rent our own apartment we had to really buy all the groceries we had to cook we had to buy the vegetables we had to clean our vessels we had to clean the apartment then we had to go to work you had to work well you have to be in touch with your family so everything we have to do so in order to do that this pandemic is really giving you a lot of opportunity to learn 
and also understand and appreciate what hardship your parents and your mother is going through in giving you the food giving all the activities it's very easy to say that you are only at home i am going to office or i am going to the college but it is very very difficult to do the job at home because that's a 7 by 24 stretchable you will never see a, at home your mother or somebody you know keeping quiet because that's a 7 by 24 lifeline support for the rest of the life so you understand and appreciate somebody else's problem also so when you go when you learn your subjects very well when you come out of the shell of that i'm from tamil medium i'm from this economic background do not have any such fear you have your uh, i know head uh, high in your uh, shoulder and then uh, and then you study your subjects on a daily basis you create an atmosphere by which you are disciplined you don't go to bed at 2 o'clock so that you can get up at uh, you know you can get up at 8 uh, o'clock for the class you go to bed by maximum by 11 and uh, uh, um, be ready to uh, with your breakfast ready for the class from 9 9 to 4 then 4 to 5 probably you can relax 5 to 10 you study every day 3 to 4 hours you need to study every day is lesson you need to finish that that time itself if you have any doubts talk to a teacher never hesitate i am very sure that and uh, Uh, if you are a good sports person i represented my university in sprint uh, and uh, running and uh, long jump and also in shuttle i represented my you know school college university iit madras and even in tcs i was the sports person so never leave your hobbies for the sake of doing engineering pursue your hobby if you are a good uh, singer pursue that if you are a good dancer pursue that because it will always help you to i know regenerate yourself so that the main line activities you can take care so never leave anything don't say engineering padikira anala idellathe vittute appadina do not say that because that's a that's a wrong uh, conviction you should definitely do well including your hobby including your capability in liberal arts and all other things i'm sure you'll do very well in your life and i want to really give you all my not my blessings because i'm not that big but my best wishes for a very very successful and a very fruitful education and i wish you all a good health be very safe stay uh, uh, stay safe stay away but uh, only from people but from your books and your material always stay close read every day and do well so that four years from now when i happen to come for a graduation i should see each and every one of you coming out with flying colors with good jobs good cgpa so that you are all happy not only you are happy your college is happy your parents are very happy and your the entire world is happy to receive you with open arms with this i want to thank each and every one of you for a patient listening the only thing i am also teaching in nana university so i i always see my students face to face i am not able to see all of you but i am very sure that all of you are listening to me taking the cue and i'm really thankful to each and every one of you including our people at home and i want to thank uh, uh, the kct college for giving me this golden opportunity to speak to all of you thank you very much i really hand over the session to uh, mr rasuruddin so that uh, we can take some questions and answers uh, thank you ma'am uh, thank, thank you for uh, i want to tell you the last slide uh, before this uh, i i, I sorry i have just got one more slide uh, over the same sea on the same winds a ship sails in one direction another in opposite it is not the wind that decides which direction the ship goes it is the sails how they are tied and how they are maneuvered similarly it is not fate that decides where your life is going it is all about how you take life and where you take it to so do not blame anything outside saying that because of this i am not able to study well because of this don't put the blame you always strive hard against all odds to achieve your goals and that is what i wanted to say okay so sorry sir we'll take it over yes ma'am uh, thank you ma'am so we have a question that is a student has asked what the what is the difference between school and college education yeah i think i spoke to you very well that uh, yes. school education is more prescribed in terms of the syllabus the teacher will only cover the syllabus makes you learn and then reproduce many times so that you are really very good at covering the entire syllabus 
college education is something where you need to think through you need to really apply your uh, mind and your analytical ability to learn it is not 100% of the time you need to think through your using your analytical ability maybe 60% to 70% you need to uh, internalize all the concepts the way you need to answer the way you need to do it the ownership is on you so that is what is the difference between the school to college education because it, the the any subject in engineering is a vast ocean you cannot uh, boil the ocean you cannot cover everything in a class every subject in a class so whatever the teacher will tell you is to cover the syllabus give you the fundamentals give you all the references it is up to you to learn all the things so that you can understand things in the big picture but uh, the question is whether you will have to do everything in one go for you to appreciate it so that you cannot study any other subject it is not true it is basically to the level at which you need to do i think the teacher herself or himself will give you all the reference material reference books for you to learn very important uh, you know application of physics mainly because they have been teaching for a long time uh thank you ma'am there is one other question many graduates in india are unemployed what do you think about that is the question ma'am so oh, many graduates are unemployed because they are not able to meet the supply and demand because the, the even though there is a demand and uh, there is a supply but the supply is not adequate to pass through because at the end of four years i'm just saying that if you have to go through a tcs interview there is a national qualifier test you may have got 8.5 or 9 or 9.5 in your undergrad but unless you clear the test you are not going to be called for an interview in tcs it is not that you will not get a job in it i'm just saying in tcs so it is uh, it is now it is so much uh, not your uh, you no know, current uh, cgpa alone that is going to win that is very important for you to go through the gating process but at the same time it is uh, uh, up to you to up to you to uh, you know do all the necessary preparation to clear or crack a, uh, crack a, uh, you know aptitude test for you to become successful and getting an entry into an organization so uh, when there is a supply and demand situation whether the demand is adequate to the supply it may not be demand may be lesser than the supply but even the demands are not satisfied because the people are not able to meet the requirements of organization so there are two uh, sides to it or two uh, vertices of that triangle uh you have already told this but then uh, student has asked whether we'll be able to spend our time on hobbies as well as studies yeah very much so if i can show you all my medals and i used to go to uh, when i was in iit i used to travel to all other iits for my sports i was representing iit madras in uh, shuttle then i was also part of the mardi gras which is the yearly music festival where i was actually an uh, uh, organizer for certain music events and i uh, when i was in anna university i was uh, representing anna university in technical forums contests and also in sports events and in school of course uh, everybody gets a chance to be on the stage to dance so i don't think uh, pursuing your hobbies will be a bottleneck for your studies you should not make your studies be a bottleneck for your uh, hobbies i think it's a win win situation you cannot say that uh, i want to pursue my hobby and then be in the field all through your day cutting the class then you are not at it because you are studying at the same time you need to find time to do it the only secret mantra i can tell you is how many of you may use uh, I, i if you are all in face to face i would have asked you to write some confession uh, say uh, first question is how many of you spend less than 3 hours in in the whatsapp and mobile how many of you spend 3 to 6 hours and more i know whatsapp twitter facebook i am not in what's uh, twitter i am not in facebook i am not in instagram it's not required for you to achieve what you want to achieve i don't think you need to be in all that send a message to virat kohli saying that he has uh, why he is missing the first two tests in australia is not our job i don't think it is our only job so if you are spending time for whatsapp whatsapp enna huna நீங்க அமிச்சதுவே உங்களுக்கு வந்து ராத்திரிக்குள்ள வரும் அது உடனே பார்த்துட்டு தான் கார்த்தால எழுந்து முடிக்கிறச்சு ஐ ஹவு மெனி ஆஃப் யூ ரியலி வேக்அப் டூ யுவர் மார்னிங் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் அண்ட் தென் ப்ரே காட் 
come and meet your parents no you actually start uh, opening your mobile first you know mobile lend what is the fight between uh, uh, this person and that person in the election edavadhu news kadikuma adula ennoda opinion enna nu kekka poranga len romba kavala ungalku what is happening in your united nations organization what will happen to the economic policy of india idella pathi ungalku nariya message varadunala modalla mobile la dhan paathittu mobile la onnu romba therra mari illa romba sumara irundaduna adukaprama vandu veetla irukkavanga paathittu amma copy kudun kekku but adha thava adu pannama modalla amma va paathu ella kettu adukaprama namakku time irukarche paatha porom ena and the messages will not go because there is no time limit for the messages adha ella irukku தொள்ளாயிரத்தி ஐம்பது மெசேஜ ஒரே சமயத்துல பிரெஸ் பண்ணி டெல் பண்றது ரொம்ப ஈஸியான விஷயம் ஏன்னா அதுல வந்து உங்களுக்கு ஒன்னும் சாராம்சம் இருக்கவே போறது இல்ல பிகாஸ் யூஆர் ஆல் திங்கிங் தட் மொபைல் அண்ட் வாட்ஸ்அப் மெசேஜஸ் ஆர் தி ஒன்ஸ் விச் ஆர் டிரைவிங் யுவர் லைஃப் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் சோ ஒன் 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 மெசேஜ் விச் இஸ் வெரி மச் விச் இஸ் வெரி மச் விச் டச் மை ஹார்ட் பிகாஸ் இதை செட் தட் எஜுகேஷன் கை நாட்டா இருப்போம் முன்னெல்லாம் இதுல பேங்க்கு போறதா இருந்தா கை நாட்டு போடுவாங்க அதுக்கப்புறமா ஏதாவது டாக்குமெண்ட் இருந்தா கை நாட்டு போடுவாங்க ஏன்னா அவங்களுக்கு கையெழுத்து போட தெரியாது எஜுகேஷன் சொல்லிட்டு ஸோ அதனால எஜுகேஷன் கேவ் தம் டு டிரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் ஃப்ரம் கை நாட்டு டு ரைட் புட் சிக்னேச்சர் வாட் இஸ் டிஜிட்டைசேஷன் டிஜிட்டைசேஷன் இஸ் மேக்கிங் எவ்ரிபடி ஃப்ரம் சிக்னேச்சர் டு கை நாட்டு பிகாஸ் தே ஆர் டேக்கிங் பயோமெட்ரிக் தே ஆர் டேக்கிங் தி Your fingerprint. So, it is not what you do. It is what you perceive of doing a thing. So, I request each and every one of you for next to four years, uh, do not ask your father for the S20 FE because it's on sale. Or uh, go not to go through Amazon. You know, we are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. நம்மள்ட்ட அத காமிக்காம அமெரிக்கால எல்லாம் ஆப்டர் டுவெல் இயர்ஸ் யூ டு லேர்ன் அண்ட் ஏர்ன் யுவர் ஓன் டிகிரி கேர் நம்மளுடைய அப்பா அம்மா நமக்கு எத்தனை படிக்கிறதுனாலும் அவர்களுடைய சொத்தை வித்தோ ஏதாவது லோன் வாங்கியோ நமக்கு படிக்க வைக்கிறாங்க அதுக்கு நம்ம வந்து திருப்பி கொடுக்க வேண்டியது என்ன அப்படின்னா நம்மளுடைய நல்லாக படித்து நல்ல ஒழுக்கமாக இருந்து நல்ல விதமான ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ நமக்கு வச்சுட்டு நம்ம அவங்களுக்கு திருப்பி கொடுக்கறதே பெரிய பெருமை தந்தை மகற்காற்றும் நன்றி இவன் தந்தை என்னோ என்னோற்றான் கொலும் சொல்னு ஒரு திருக்குறள் இருக்கு இவன் இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு பையனை பெறுவதற்கு அந்த தந்தை எவ்வளவு புண்ணியம் பண்ணி இருப்பார் அப்படின்னு அதனால பட் ஐ ஆல்சோ நோ தட் ஃபாதர் அண்ட் மதர் பேசினா நம்பர் பேசினா நம்ம வந்து என்ன பண்ணுவோம் கட் பண்ணிடுவோம் அப்பா நான் ரொம்ப பிஸியா இருக்கேன் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸோட படிச்சுட்டு இருக்கேன் ப்ரோ வேறாவது Uh, the only way to talk to your own uh, uh, son or daughter within the same house is to call uh, this uh, call them through a mobile that to from a different number appa tagal eduthrom edha offer vandiruka bike offer vandiruka illena mall la vende vera edhaadu idu podraangala vera inga coupons varudha nu kattama pesum but appa avum ammavum pesina adutha rendavathu sentence e namakku vandu alupu vandrum adu marala illama avargal oru naal illa ஒரு வேலை இல்லைன்னா நம்மளால நிச்சயமாக இருக்க முடியாதுங்கிற ஒரு கன்விக்ஷன் நமக்கு இருந்ததுன்னா நிச்சயமாக பண்ணுவோம் அதனால ஐ எம் ரெக்வஸ்டிங் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஆஃப் யூ இட் மைட் லுக் லைக் அ மதர்ஹுட் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் ஐ எம் ஜஸ்ட் ரெக்வஸ்டிங் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ டு ரெடியூஸ் கோ டு ஸ்லீப் ஹாவ் சம் செவன் ஹவர்ஸ் ஆஃப் குட் ஸ்லீப் டோ நாட் டேக் இட் அண்டர் யுவர் பெட் அண்ட் தென் சி த வாட்ஸ்அப் மெசேஜஸ் நத்திங் இஸ் கோயிங் டு ஹேப்பன் டு யூ யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு அன்னெசரி ஸ்ட்ரெயின் யுவர் ஐஸ் ஐம் கோயிங் டு டெல் யூ ஆஃப்டர் திஸ் மெனி years of working in it field since i have been a sports person i have never gone to an orthopedician for my any spondylosis but i can see people with 30 29 years 30 years going to orthopedicians for their you know for their physiotherapy it's mainly because of the habits what is more important for us is to stay healthy stay wealthy and then be nice to everybody and that is the purpose of our life பேண்டமிக் ல நம்ம நிறைய கத்துனோம் எத்தனை கோடி கணக்கான பணம் இருந்தாலும் இட் கேன் நெவர் கிவ் யூ அ லைஃப் பேக் இட் இஸ் பேசிக்கலி த அஃபெக்ஷன் த ரெஸ்பெக்ட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ பீங் வெரி நோ நைஸ் டு அதர்ஸ் தட்ஸ் கோயிங் டு கிவ் யூ சோ ஐம் ரெக்வஸ்டிங் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஸ்ரீவத்ஸ் ஆர் சூர்யா ஒன் மோர் क्वेश्चन ஹியர் இஸ் இட் ஈஸி டு கெட் ஜாப்ஸ் இன் ஃபாரின் கம்பெனிஸ் லைக் டெஸ்லா டெஸ்லா ஸ்பேஸ் எக்ஸ் யா டெஸ்லா ஆர் ஆல் 
you can definitely get it but they don't come and recruit as long as they come and recruit in a college you can always get a get a job but uh, you must really know how to invite them for a job and their expectations may be many you know that no in order to get into uh, companies like you uh, know many companies have got five or six rounds of uh, you know uh, of uh, interviewing process before you are there they are not going to look at a 10th mark 12th mark be positive aptitude test vote to kudukka matanga they will go through number of tests written test oral test group discussion and then final presentation as to what che, what you will make as when you join an organization idella path evaluate pannuva so it is not going to be easy we have to really aim at the sky like uh, test laws basics but i'm sure that we have to first take some steps to reach the top of the building then we can go to the sky and it is not impossible i'm just telling you it is not impossible to get a job you have to really work around it that's all i can say selva kumar i have a doubt school days is long time feeling but uh, saddingly how to no no i'm not able to understand your english but i'm 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 english i'm understanding your uh, tanglish and saying that uh, how to college feeling man it's a great feeling see when you go from madurai to salem you will uh, travel with set of people right you will make them friends and then you will go with them you will talk to them when you come to salem from there salem you want to go to e road you will see set uh, different people and it is not that you need to forget your school friends or something like that so you will remember each and every one of them so that is what it is so it is basically uh, it is basically how you make friends and what are the limits and limitations that you have with your friends it's very uh, it is a very great thing to have very good friends but at the what cost is what you need to know because your friends should be able to be your guide uh, and uh, you know helping you so that uh, you you can work along with them to learn but you need to have good friends friends like books should be few and very well chosen there is a proverb i learnt in my life so a lot of people uh, have uh, recorded their uh, thanks ma'am yeah. and now Any we have questions? dr kail vili to uh... okay any more questions friends only three questions from kamraj college of engineering technology i am surprised one guy has asked whether we can get into accenture by studying it obviously any company they can get into uh, by yeah, yeah. Uh, why you want accenture you can get into ibm google facebook microsoft oracle or any company you want provided you really work towards going there that's all. any other another question is like uh, how can we develop a fine understanding without our peer with our peer oh sorry with our peer sorry yeah. with your peer is very important right definitely important with your friends you can learn because you can sh share and learn and that is what you will do in this but there should be a uh, goal by which uh, you learn with your peer so peer we took quite to group study pandren solittu for two hours la vandu 1 1/2 mani neram ella adha pathiyum pesitu 1 mani neram padichaaka loss is not anybody else so it's yours so you have to really go with the goal of studying of course you can yap around for half an hour but it cannot be reversed you cannot uh, yap around for 1 and 1/2 hours to study for half an hour which most of us have done anga pogarchi idha padikano nariya lessons vechittu povom ana enna da mudikirongaradhu namba kaiyila illa but that is okay for one or two days but in the long run when everything is measured on a continuous basis you need to be on top of it you need to continuously run to be in the same place that's what we always learn right the the tiger has to run faster than before to be in the same place otherwise it will be all eaten away so you also need to know what to learn because it's not going to be easy learning from an online medium all the time it is not that we are trying to scare you it is just a reality 
in the college la irundha staff room pola madam kitta kekkaram but you can always fix time to do it and the thing is that you, you, uh, over a virtual medium it is very limited and at the same time you need to be very attentive attentive in the online class also unless you are attentive you cannot learn any question from girls joshua titus ma'am if online class is the future of curriculum does online test helps us to improve and what about school and classroom atmosphere yeah it can never replace the class school and classroom atmosphere okay and i'm very very sure that that is not the that is uh, not very far away it's going to come back because uh, things are becoming better we are not really in the phase where you know we are having uncertainty definitely things are going to be more classroom and school online class is going to be the future of curriculum online test help because that only test what you have learned right whether you write through an online medium or write in a pencil and paper it doesn't matter right so it is the coverage of, of your syllabus and you are asked to answer unless uh, we want to take help from anybody where we will be caught i don't think we need to worry so online tests are also going to be very similar in fact uh, many of the teachers are very considerate online la padikira nalla test konjam less ave kudukom solli kudukranga nalla and the leverage ungalku irukku paavam paavam solli ungalku nalla questions nalla idu da kudukranga so it's a proctored one so you cannot do any other thing except studying the subject and doing well and it is going to be in the syllabus that they have covered so don't worry about it abhi lakshmita Oh, it's a new name I've not heard in my life, ma'am. My ambition is to become an IAS officer. How should I manage studying for it along with engineering? I think you have to. You can go for coaching classes after your engineering or in your fourth uh, semester because it will be a definitely a uh, six months to one year preparation before you write your preliminary thing. And there are a lot of coaching institutes to give you. You can talk to them and find out whether you can start, when you can do it parallelly. but uh, you need to excel in your studies and then do it pursue it parallelly for you not to compromise your engineering education as well as your ias aspiration i'm sure you will be able to do it and we'll all uh, uh, kct will be happy to portray your uh, photograph with your achievements and where you are posted uh, you know saying that our alumnus has become an ias officer it's a proud moment i'm sure if you follow your heart and then pursue it you will be able to become an ias officer very very easily with your uh, hard work dedication and then passion shrivatsav surya what is the most important thing to get higher position in it in it sectors nothing to replace hard work dedication lifelong learner be a good caller i would say that a lot of uh, uh, lity why your mobility your flexibility your capability and your uh, uh, and your adaptability mobility is where wherever you are placed you should go you cannot say that i am from madurai i want to be in one in chennai flexibility is when you can work in different time zones different uh, customers so you are covering that adaptability is whatever you really have not learnt you need to be adaptable to that situation that client because every client has got their own demands and then capability i think it is a horizontal you need to be technically sound you need to understand things better you need to understand the big picture of your project and you can definitely perform very well to uh, to get very high position so uh, definitely it is not uh, impossible all of us have done it i'm sure you can do it very easily no no you are making a statement danish ma'am the way of learning in colleges is differ from our school that's what we told school is going to be more spoon fed where there is a syllabus and there is a uh, certain things that you need to learn and then reproduce whereas college is more on application of your knowledge your analytical ability your fundamental mathematics into engineering curriculum so you need to really apply your concepts into something so where you will be definitely tested for your fundamental knowledge you will also be tested for what you how you can apply it also okay daniel ma'am is the placement is based on mark or practical skill okay placement is not based on uh, yeah, practical experience and creative ideas placement is based on 
your uh, consistent performance your capability to clear the aptitude test so that and also the uh, i think it is not i don't think they are conducting a psychometric test it is your ability to be more stable and show that you are willing to learn and your ability to uh, do a good project in your own uh, subject without buying it through your parents uh, money and then the ability to articulate it and your ability to say that you are a you are going to be part of that esteemed organization that is what is very important because there is nothing called practical experience that you will have you may have an internship for a short time but that cannot be replaced as a full time job capability you can have brilliant ideas but at the time of interview when there are so many thousands of people are going to be interviewed creative ideas are welcome but definitely the creative idea cannot alone get you into a job because they want to use you as a person who can bring in their you uh, know bring in uh, uh, revenue for them in the vertical or the horizontal or the technology that they allocate you and then ask you to come up with creative ideas that will be definitely appreciated but ideas have to be implemented so you cannot just throw an idea and say that somebody will stay okay so you should also be a owner of that idea from ideation to implementation particularly that will be appreciated when you join an organization but you are going to start your own company or be part of a, a startup company then your creative ideas will be very much welcome where they will take you so it all depends on where you want to join if you want to join a corporate where they are taking people in thousands where they really want you to work in a project to make a revenue for them there is a different uh, requirement but your creative ideas will never be go waste it will always be appreciated and then taken any other question have, uh, one yeah one student has asked whether um, his father is advising to join uh, mba after finishing engineering it seems yeah, so yeah. is it recommended is what yeah, yeah it is definitely recommended as long as the parents can encourage the students to do but the mba definitely has got lot of things where you need to learn all management sub subjects all finance subjects hr subjects but if you have an experience um after that uh, after your be it will help a lot and cat is a no joke it uh, definitely requires very high amount of preparation to get into a good iim institute you cannot just do an mba from any place and think that i am an mba you need to definitely if you have to do it from a reputed institute like iim isb or great lakes or wherever you need to really prepare well for the entrance exams also so unless you do it and uh, anybody with experience will have a lot more but they always say 2 2 2 you need to have a minimum 2 years of experience before you really take on and there are problems associated where somebody is comfortable in a job for 2 years they never feel like uh, you know taking a break and then going for a going for a higher studies but that's a win win situation if somebody is very determined to go for a higher education they should definitely do it but experience will always help in mba because most of it is a experiential learning case study preparation presentation looking at a company's uh, you know order book or revenues or a statement annual statement and then uh, analyzing it and presenting it i think it needs uh, definitely a little more maturity um, and it is, it is not it is not very yeah sorry ma'am no no it is like a doctor patient relationship when i joined the dcs chennai it was 50 people when it was 85000 still everybody survived right i don't think it is survival is a question of your capability and your ability to take on new responsibilities without really making a fuss about it so i do not want to say surviving anywhere survival is a problem if you are not capable and the more number of people is all around you right they take more people only because they need uh, those many people this because there are more people they don't retrench you they retrench you only because if you don't perform well but i want to ask all of you first year la vandu edhukku ipdi job pathiye questions la ketten kavala padadhen four years from now all of you will have bright future and then excellent career so i think uh, you all should be more worried about how to enjoy how to learn your subjects very well and how to prepare well so uh, third year onwards uh, asaruddin sir will take over and then worry for you so i'm sure that you should be worried because all of you are 
come with a goal that you want to join a job i'm sure all of you are asking but i feel that uh, definitely you will be able to get very good placement yes ma'am yes thank you any questions from the staff i am happy mm -hmm. to answer if there is any question other than you and uh, dr kailbi okay so i think we will we'll conclude now it's already 2 hours yes ma'am yes ma'am kailbi ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma yes sir shall we uh, yes ma'am okay. yes uh, thank you want to see you kailbi ma'am ma'am yes ma'am want to see you. on <laughs> um there is I some issue with the webcam ma'am and hence no problem. Uh, oh yeah yeah we can have an audio now i was just uh, yes, okay ma'am okay ma'am thank you so much ma'am for your live lively answers we are very happy to have you here and uh, now there is an announcement for the students ma'am uh, students uh, feedback link will be posted to you you are asked to post your feedback there and then um now i invite mr pradeep kumar assistant professor to propose vote of thanks please sir good morning to everyone present here i am very glad to propose vote of thanks i hope today's session was really interesting and informative on behalf of our kct family I express sincere thanks to the guest of honor Dr Hema Gobal Vice President TCS I believe that our young buddies learned the importance of transition in their life through your presentation thank you ma'am now I extend my thanks to our principal dean academics heads of the various departments coordinators and all the SIP members last but not the least I thank our young budding engineers Thank you. Thank you one and all. Have a nice day. Thank you sir. Thank you. We'll Thank see you. all of you Thank on you another session. Thank you Kyle Ray madam. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Ma